Hey, hey, it's Lamar Scholl coming at you from DirectionToSuccess.com. Hey, I've got a question for you. Do you have a WordPress website? Well, if you said yes, guess what? I have another question for you. Do you know if your website's getting backed up? Well, if you're not sure or if it isn't, guess what? I've got a WordPress plugin I want to show you today. And you know what? It's really simple to configure and install because most everything I show in my videos, that's how I like it. You know, I just like things simple, yet they work well. But anyways, so let's you and I get into a little discussion here. You know, first of all, why would you want to back up your website, right? Well, all your, you know, WordPress websites are using MySQL database. So if something happens if that database becomes corrupt, you know, it might not bring your whole website down, but it could bring a page down. And it could bring a whole website down. You just don't know. But anyways, if, you know, say you're working on your website in the daily routine, right? In your daily routine, you accidentally delete a post or page and then you, your cache is cleaned out so you're not able to restore it, right? Now, I just want to tell you firsthand, like, that's never happened to me before. No, 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 never. But anyways, let's keep going. We'll put that in the past. That's the past. And, you know, just we'll forget that. You know, God forbid, you know, your site gets hacked or something, right? Who knows? Um, maybe, you know, you install a theme or a plugin. It corrupts your website. Listen, that usually doesn't happen, you know. But say if it did, right? I'm just saying, like, just give you a little bit of peace of mind backing up your website and I'm going to show you a minute how easy it is to do right so you know maybe okay backing up your WordPress website maybe your hosting company your your website provider maybe they are doing these backups already right both your WordPress files and your database that's perfect but then how often are they doing those backups right you know, do you know that? If you don't, you know, you might want to just get on a little quick chat with them and find out. You know, and then say if something does happen to your website, how fast will they be able to restore your website? Um, I'm going to show you in a minute, too. Sometimes, or every time, I guess, it's worth having multiple backups. Meaning, like, if you back up your website on a daily basis, I like to keep like 30 days of backups. And after that, they just get thrown out. Because if something happens that you don't know about for the net, you know, for say 10 days, you still got to be able to get back to an older version that you can still use, right? But I'm going to go slower and I'm going to talk about that more in a minute, right? So I guess we talked about, yeah, okay, so something does happen to your website. How fast can they restore that, right? The other thing I like is having two sources of backup. If they are doing your backup and doing a great job at it, doing it every day or as often as you need them to, perfect. You know what? Let's use this little plugin I'm going to show you here in a bit and create a second source of backup because maybe something happens to their backup or your backup, you can rely on the other one, right? And just knowing your website's getting backed up, I tend to sleep better at night. So if I'm physically doing that backup myself as well, then I know it's actually getting done. So the name of the plugin we're gonna talk about today, and listen, there's a lot of them out there for WordPress, but the one I like that I'm using right now is called Updraft Plus. And if if you've used this and you found actually a better plugin you like better, let me know down in the comments because I'd be, you know, I'll definitely give it a shot. Try it out and see what it's like. And if I like it better, I'll do another video with that. You know, so this could be another option for people too, right? So I think it, the more we all know, the better it is for all of us, right? So the plugin, like I mentioned before, is called Updraft Plus. <clears throat> And this one will automatically do backups. You know, you can control the frequency of the backups. And I'm going to go through all the settings here in a second because I love going through plugin settings. So, and that's not sarcastic. I really love going through plugin settings. Sorry, I'm digressing here a bit. Um, 
But yeah, it like I said, it, you can control how often you want the backups done, and they just get done automatically. And both the website and database files are backed up. The other thing you can configure, decide where you want your backup files to be saved. You can put them current, you know, you can put them on your local server, which I don't really recommend. That's by default once you install a plugin, or you could have it go to um, Dropbox, Google Drive. There's a lot of other choices, and we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna go over those in a second here as well. Multiple locations for backup. So um, the free version doesn't allow you to do this, but if you purchase their premium version, you can actually have your backups go more to more than one place. So say you want them backed up daily, and I want them to go to my Google Drive and my Dropbox, or maybe, you know, Dropbox and my local server. I don't know. The possibilities are pretty endless. But that's pretty cool, right? Again, it's having your backups in two places. Some people may think that's overkill. Maybe it is. If you think it is, okay, then just have your backups done in one place. You know, it's fine. What's Ever makes your life easier as you go through the day. That's what this is all about, right? So the other thing, like I mentioned before, you can control how often you want these backups done. You want them done on a daily, hourly, weekly, monthly basis, right? Um, how many files do you want to retain? Like I was saying before, I, I, I like to retain the last 30 days. So what happens is on your 31st day, then it starts deleting files. It just maintains the files that are there for 30 days. This way you don't have to worry about cleaning that directory out or anything like that. I think that's great. Oh, the other thing is you'll get, you can, this is optional. You can just check a box. I'll show you that too in, during the setup. You can get notified when your backups perform. You know, I don't know, maybe you don't want to be bothered with emails, but I like to know that stuff's getting done, right? So you just see it come in your email box and say, oh, that's pretty cool, All right? So, without any further ado, we can swing over to WordPress. So, like I said, right now, I'm sorry, I'll back up a little bit. So, we're in the WordPress dashboard, and I came down here to plugins. I'm currently here. These are all the installed plugins I currently have for my, this one site here. And the plugin we're talking about today is called Updraft Plus, right here. Okay, and like I said, it I let, we can go over. Yep, yeah, here. Yeah, sorry, let me go back up here a little bit. I'm since I already have it installed, I'm not going to install it. But if you don't have it, you can click on Add New, and I'll show you which one to select. If you just pick up, type in Updraft, and the one you want is right here to the left. As you can see, it's already activated for me. So if you take Updraft plus WordPress backup plugin, this is the one I've been using, and this is the one we're going to be talking about. So if you let, you know want like it after this video, just come by, go to add new plugin, hit your in, uh, install now button, and then activate it, and then you can go right down, like I don't know, there's a couple places to go for settings, but I just go down to settings, oops, there we go, and we're going to go into updraft, okay, and this is their settings page that you'll be looking at here, uh, so you can do a backup now, this is a manual thing, this isn't really what I really want to show you, but say if you want and make a big change to your website. This is comes in handy. So you could do the backup before you actually make those changes so that maybe those changes aren't good, you can roll back. But that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you. You're able to look at your existing backups here. So you can see like mine's configured for 30 days. That's why we get the 30 in there. And you can actually pick any of these backups do you want to look at it? as you can see like I'm doing the database the plugins the theme everything gets backed up right 
I don't know if you want to delete it or not, but this is like, say if this is the version I want to use, I can restore my site back to whatever this backup was or the newest one up in this case here. So like today I just had, you know, it looked like it, well, I was playing around, so that's why it backed up twice today. This is probably the manual one I did. I was trying to show somebody something else and stuff. But where you want to go, once you have this plugin installed, is right here to the settings tab. And there's not that much to really do. What you're going to do is decide. So they're talking about the Word, your WordPress files. That's what they mean by files. And then the database, right? You can have these backed up. You're going to pick the uh, frequency of the backup. I'm going to show you the options in a minute. And then how many backup files you want to retain. So if you click on this drop down, you can have your site backed up from 4 hours, 8 hours, 12 hours daily, weekly, fortnightly. How do you like that option? That's two weeks, in case you didn't know. That's pretty cool, fortnightly, as opposed to putting two weeks there. Or monthly, you know, so that's pretty good. So you can see, so I'm just saying daily. I don't know. And then the database, you do the same thing. I don't know why you'd want to have it different. If anybody knows a reason why, Again, just let me know down in the comments. I just try to keep my, you know, your files and database all lined up so that I would, I like them both done at the same time. And again, how long do you want those files hanging around? Whatever these are going to be saved, okay? So that brings me down to the next section here. So this, these are the options here. There's quite a few of them. Where do you really want these files to be saved? You know, like, I normally have them saved to my Google Drive. And that's just easy. Just click the button. There's just a setting. There's like a little wizard goes through. Updraft will basically say, hey, are we allowed to save files to your uh, Google Drive? Say yes. And it's, it's done. It's that seamless. And there's other, you know, options here, Dropbox, Microsoft, Azure. This is all good. So these settings aren't bad. They're quick and easy, right? So obviously, wherever you pick these to go, we'll use these settings that we talked about earlier up here, you know, how often you want your backups done and how many backup files you want to retain or save. The other option I would just tick is right here. I like to, this is having an email sent to you every time the backup file is completed. And that's it. There isn't much more. Um, I don't do anything. I didn't do anything in advanced tools. You know, like this is fine. But really, once you install the plugin, it's just making these few changes here. And if you do have them installed on your server, I would definitely copy them over to, you know, to a computer, laptop, anywhere, files. Like, you got to bring, you know, make sure the files do get off your server. You don't really have to move them. You can just copy them, right? Just use, like, a FTP program like FileZilla or something and get in there. But the better option for me, or anybody, I guess, would be to actually move them to another online source. You know, like I said, I prefer Google Drive because I don't know who doesn't have Google. And I think you get 15 gig, you know, space free. So like, you know, I don't know, my website's not that big. I can retain 30 copies and it's probably using maybe a gig of drive space. But that is it. I hope you enjoyed this little presentation here of the updraft WordPress plugin. Sorry, I got distracted again. And I try to keep all the dumb jokes aside. Well, again, this is Lamar Scholl. I want to thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, even about my dumb jokes, leave them below. Thank you.